Okay, so you should have now created either a form or a landing page that you can use to get people to sign up for your email list. Now at some point you obviously want to send out emails to your email list because that's why you wanted to get them on your list in the first place. So you can either create automations or you can send out simple one-time emails like broadcasts. Maybe you have a new blog post or a new YouTube video and you just want to let your subscribers know that you have something new and they can go check it out if they want. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So we're going to click on broadcast on the top here and we're going to create a new broadcast message, which is just a one-time email to your subscribers. So first we're going to decide what email we're going to send that from. So I'm going to again send that from simon at learnpassiveincome.com and then I can decide who this email should go to. Um, now, right now it says all subscribers. So everybody, all of my eight subscribers will receive that email. Um, if you have different segments, so let's say if you have segmented your list into customers, maybe leads, maybe people who watched a certain video, people who, who are your blog post readers, then you can decide you only want to send a specific email to a specific group of your subscribers. So let's say um, you want to only send that to your blog readers. So you can go to click on all subscribers, then go to within a segment and then choose the segment here that you have set up for those people. Now, what you can also do is send it to all subscribers except a specific group. So you, the way you do that is by adding a filter group and then changing that matching any to matching none and then add the segment here. So you can say, I wanna send it to everybody except my customers. So you can ch uh, choose the customer segment here and then it will be sent to everybody except those types of contacts. So, uh, but as I don't have any segments in my new account here, um, I'm just gonna send it to all my subscribers. Then I can give that um, broadcast uh, a description. So that's just a name for myself. So I remember what that was about. That won't be something that your subscribers will see. So I'm just gonna name it um, new YouTube video SEO, or let's say, um, let's actually say ConvertKit tutorial because that's what I'm doing right now. ConvertKit tutorial. So that's just that I know that I know what this broadcast was about. Next step. And in this step, we actually create our email. So first we're going to decide on a subject line. So um, let's say new to email marketing. Here's a step by step guide for ConvertKit. Something like that. Um, that's maybe a bit too long, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so let's say, hey, um, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna write an entire email right here. And then I wanna put in the link to the video. Uh, so here's, here's the video. And then um, complete ConvertKit tutorial, then I want to make that a link. So I'm going to highlight this, click on the link icon here, insert link, and then I'm going to insert that link to my YouTube video. Obviously you want to put the exact link to your YouTube video, not just youtube.com. Then I want to make that open a new tab and um, I can also tag my subscribers. So I can tag them um, watched um, convert kit tutorial so that I know that everybody clicks on this link will get this tag. And then from this, I can do different things for the people that actually use this tag. Then click insert. And then what I also wanna do is maybe insert a picture of my thumbnail so that people can have a more visual email. So let's insert a picture here, click on insert picture, choose a file, and then I'm gonna choose my thumbnail this should come in here, cool. And this is a bit too big, so I'm gonna drag this and make it a little bit smaller, maybe like this. And then finish my email and then talk soon, Simon. Something like that. Okay, so let's say my broadcast email is finished and we're ready to send it. So click on next step. So when you have checked everything, everything looks fine, you can go on click on send broadcast and that email will be sent out immediately to everybody. Or what you can do is click on schedule and then schedule the exact date 
and time when this email should go out. So let's say um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then um, th you can send broad click send broadcast and then it will be sent out tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thank <laughs> you.